Hey everybody, Josh Pearson, and the media here, and every single day we're being ushered closer to World War III and or the Great Reset. It is the exact same thing, of course. Uh, Mario uh, Nafal on Twitter says, breaking Biden greenlights Palestinian displacement from Gaza. Biden's $106 billion bid raises alarms over possible pre-planned Palestinian displacement into Egypt, which we have some leaked documents that we're going to be going into in a moment. Uh, Biden has submitted a request for an additional $106 billion in financial aid to Gaza's displaced residents and Ukrainian refugees. Of course, Ukraine is a homeland of the Khazarians, uh, with a, a section of the proposal causing significant concerns. While the funding aims to assist refugees and humanitarian efforts in Israel, one specific aspect of the request has garnered attention. On page 40, the request includes a provision to allocate funds for the support of civilians affected by ongoing conflict, specifically mentioning Palestinian refugees in Gaza and the West Bank. What raises alarm is the reference to potential cross-border displacement and asylum, suggesting that these funds are to be used for such purposes. The concern is that the request may basically guarantee the forced Palestinian displacement to Egypt. It calls into question the stance of the Egyptian government and the potential consequences of Palestinian sovereignty. And we'll get into some of the examples of this because we have the leaked government documents. But all the while, you know, the, you know, people are continuing to act like this is one way or the other. Hamas was created by Israel and the intelligence communities, Mossad, CIA, MI6. This is all a fake war. It's been planned for a very long time. It's part of the icing on the cake for the world for the World War Three scenario for a great reset, which is something we need to break down in depth today. But as I mentioned, this is a document that came out and it says, let the record show, uh, uh, Ite Epstein says on Twitter, let the record show Israel's attempt to forcibly transfer 1.2 million Palestinians from North Gaza in grave breach of IHL <clears throat> is the precursor for denying the remaining 700,000 the protection from direct, indiscriminate, or reckless attack, which they are entitled to. Uh, it says that they're going to force them into Egypt, create new towns, tent cities, and essentially <clears throat> stop them from going anywhere near the Israeli or uh, Palestinian borders. Again, this is a massive displacement, and it's acknowledged by um, the Israeli government. And of course, this was planned before any of this even happened, before Egypt, by the way, warned Netanyahu that there was going to be an attack on, one. by, by the way, one of the most secure um, areas of border in the entire world that somehow was let down. And then there's a stand down order on the military for three hours, obvious BS, but Egypt warned Netanyahu ahead of time, who then shrugged it off and ignored it because it was a false Flag attack. Come on. This out of Zero Hedge. IDF tanks reach outskirts of Gaza City, cut key north-south highway after Netanyahu's chilling war message to smite Amalek. Now, we mentioned that in our previous video, Netanyahu declaring invasion. You must remember what Amalek has done to you, says our Holy Bible. And in Samuel 1 Samuel 15, 3, it says, Now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and spare them not, but slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. He's calling for the murder of children, by the way. He's calling for the murder of infants still suckling on the teat. This is absolutely evil, but it's part of their prophecy. They're creating, they want to build a new temple. They want the greater Israel project from the Nile to the Euphrates. This has been in the books for a very, very long time. I don't care what people say about how, well, Jewish people lived there a long time ago. Many, many people have lived there over many, many uh, eons. And it does not mean that you can use that land to mass murder anyone who opposes you as they themselves say that you are to do. Now, many Jewish people are now turning against the Israeli government, which they accuse of committing war crimes and genocide. And it's interesting. The problem is that so many of these people that are turning against it are actually just like atheists. They, they, they grew up Jewish, but they're not actually Jewish. Um, they are basically leftists that are wearing masks at these rallies, which really shows you how the media has kind of created this image of left must support um, Palestine 
right must support Israel, whereas the reality is this is absolute tyranny by the state meant to bring us into the Great Reset and people don't get it. It's the same thing with Ukraine and Russia. People pick sides. It's all part of a script. Russia and Israel are hand in hand and have been for a long time. Israel's one of the most top Russian speaking countries in the world. Ukraine is the homeland of the Khazarian Jews, which was overthrown in 2014 by the U.S., which then also works with Israel. The U.S. also propped up Iran. The U.S. also propped up China. The U.S. also propped up Russia. The U.S. also propped up the Mujahideen, Al-Qaeda, Taliban, uh, ISIS, etc. And, of course, Hamas. It is absolutely insane. And people are being censored for daring to speak out. Conservative MP Paul Bristow has been sacked from his government post after calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. So you're allowed to say we need a ceasefire in Ukraine by Russia, but you can't say just indiscriminately bombing every hospital, mall, um, apartment complex, church, uh, you know, mosque, etc. That you can't say that that's bad. I mean, it's absolute hypocrisy. It's insane. It's evil. World War III is underway. Are we witnessing the start of end times? Nuclear countries taking sides in multiple wars as America heads towards mass civil unrest? I think the answer is an absolutely resounding yes. That is exactly where we're heading. And Saudis on high alert after Yemen's Houthis fire another missile at Israel. Fresh clashes erupt. Well, we have um, Israel withdrawing diplomats from Turkey, according to The Hill, after harsh rebuke from Erdogan, who said in front of just an insanely large crowd that essentially they are ready to invade uh, Israel for what they're doing and calling it crimes against humanity. Well, of course they are. The thing is that Turkey is also a big part of this because Turkey is the bridge between what we have as Iraq and Syria. And I've spent a lot of time in Turkey, Iraq and Syria. Then you have Azerbaijan, um, you have Armenia, Iran. You have the Black Sea in between Turkey and then Ukraine, the homeland of the Khazarians. And of course, Turkey was a big part of helping the US and British and French and Israelis ship in weapons and arms and CIA agents posing as, um, as, as terrorists in order to create false flag attacks. And I've talked with many Iraqis and Syrians who've told me on the ground in the Middle East that this was indeed happening. So it's all part of the plan. DeSantis warns China, key player behind Ukraine-Israel wars. DeSantis, by the way, who's calling for um, people to be silenced if they speak out against Israel, you know, big free speech advocate until you say something against Israel because these guys are bought and paid for by the Israeli lobby. They, they have for a very long time. You go against Israel. You want to know who rules you? Ask who you aren't allowed to criticize. And they're leaving it now just for the leftists to, to drone on about, but they never have any solutions. They only create more problems. So it goes in a circle. But the key player that DeSantis is warning about is China, of course. And China is indeed what Klaus Schwab says is a role model for the Great Reset. So he's saying China is the biggest puzzle piece here. And he's right. Because the BRICS World Order, the BRICS World Reserve Currency System, the CBDCs, which are based on gold, and they're, you know, fooling people into thinking that it's just going to be some a gold-backed currency where you could go and get gold. It's not. It's going to be backed by gold that you can never see, and they can spoof the amount of and give you a CBDC. And on that, you'll have carbon credit, social credit, 15-minute cities, etc. Every world war ends in a reset. And this one is no different. And in this case, we have the greatest of all the resets, a technocratic tyranny, the likes of which we've never seen before, with a massive Jewish homeland from the Nile to the Euphrates and then up into the Khazarian lands with Russia and China and India as the monetary powers working with uh, Central America as well. And we will see a plague of CBDCs across the board. Is a dollar good? No, it needs to be uh, done with. The, the, the Western world order is evil. There's no doubt. And it's mostly run by Israel. But Israel plays both sides. They always have. And in this situation, we are in danger of going into a CBDC system that is based on China's zero COVID policy, the 15-minute cities. That's what I was doing a documentary on in 
Oxford, UK earlier this year. If you want to donate to our documentary fund, go to our gogetfunding.com campaign in the description. But it is insane what is going on. This is already occurring and it needs a world war. It needs a destruction of, of, of liberties and martial law. It needs the destruction of the energy grid. It needs the destruction of the supply chain. It needs the destruction of the housing market to destroy property rights. It needs the destruction of the economy to bring in a new currency. It needs the uh, demoralization of children, trans kids, all that kind of stuff. It needs a confusion and the infighting and the attacks on the ground by people and warring factions and, and civil world uh, wars worldwide. It needs weather disasters. It needs all these modified, absolutely staged events and needs it in order to bring us in to that great reset. Bring about their new temple, bring about the new Tower of Babel, bring bring about the technocratic world order that I've been warning of for, you know, thinking about it, going back to 2006. So again, this is the world we're living in and this is a world we must avoid. And that's why I've been so adamant about telling people to go and actually prepare themselves in ways that are substantial, ways that could save their life going forward. Like we have heavensharvest.com for long-term storable foods that are non-GMO. There's organic kits, heirloom seeds, water filtration and storage, books on how to get started. Use code WAM, W-A-M, and you get free shipping on much of these products. Again, this could save your life versus a great reset. So you aren't scrounging for food or getting Bill Gates mRNA food from a ration line. And after what we've seen in places like uh, Acapulco recently, an obvious manipulated weather event, we are under attack to bring in the climate agenda. And a big part of that is also this World War III agenda. It's all part of the same puzzle, just like the eugenics operations of the injections. So go and check out heavensharvest.com and use code WAM, W-A-M. Also, make sure to get on this Wild Pastures link while you still can. Really amazing deal. You get 20% off for life plus $15 off your first box of 100% grass-fed and finished beef, pasture-raised pork, pasture-raised chicken, and wild-caught seafood. Uh, farmers are under attack. This is from regenerative local family farms in 48 U.S. states, temperature-controlled, brought to your door, no GMOs, no mRNA, no mystery meats, no antibiotics, no hormones, no steroids, no feedlots, no pesticides, no chemicals. Go and check out our link for wild pastures linked in the description, my friends. This is a way for us to get around many of the very obvious uh, agenda-based um, you know, moves by the Great Reset, which is to uh, make us dependent, make us sick, and make uh, th these farmers irrelevant, which essentially leads to the collapse of the supply chain. We must support them all we can while supporting our own health when we're finding mRNA mixed in with the meat supply at local grocery stores. So go and check out Wild Pastures. Again, 20% off for life plus $15 off your first box when you use our link. Get out of the banking system. We have Kirk Elliott, phd.com slash wham. Again, we just want to bring people solutions. That is what's most important. We can't just be depressed about the doom and gloom of all this. We need solutions. Kirk Elliott, phd.com slash wham. You could go buy physical gold and silver. And of course, roll over into physical gold or silver IRAs, 401ks, 43Bs, checking savings or brokerage accounts. You get a whole bunch of free special reports when you sign up for that phone call. He's the author of 11 books, a double PhD. And again, this could save your life. So go and check on, uh, out uh, that link and get advice from him. You have a sign up form. It's super easy to sign up for. So check that out. And of course, health is very important. So check out rncstore.com, Richardson Nutritional Center, your source for Laetril online, made famous by G. Edward Griffin's book, World Without Cancer. Get your apricot seeds, Laetril, amygdalin, and vitamin B17 there. You could use code Josh, J-O-S-H, and save a bunch of money on this as well. Again, this is very important. It will be banned soon. I want to give people options to look at because we are facing down the beast right now, my friends. And the end times that they mention, it's so biblical what we're watching. And they're literally saying they're, they're following, um, you know, these Torah traditions. And, and even worse than that, Talmudic traditions, which basically want us, the, anyone else that's not them, extinguished, including Jews that don't go along with their line of thinking. It's a sect and it's dangerous. And we must understand this. Anyway, if you want to help support us, we have that gogetfunding.com link that I mentioned earlier. Thanks to those who've raised $6,000 in the last six months so far. Out of the $10,000 debt that we have, 
um, for our 15 minute city documentary. We still have uh, much more to do on that, but luckily in the United States, we don't have to travel all over the place. So it'll be less expensive, but we have licensing uh, for video and music as well that we need to do. It's gonna cost money. And we also have legal bills that we're dealing with right now. So we're in a lot of trouble here at WAM. So any help is much appreciated. Go get funding.com, Patreon, subscribe star. We have a Bitcoin address and we have a coin tree link with a bunch of different cryptocurrencies that you could donate in if you please, including privacy coins. Anyways, I appreciate people watching. Find us on Telegram, Rockfin, Bandot, Video, Bitchute, Odyssey, Rumble, and Brighton at World Alternative Media. We're on Hive, Steemit, and Vigilante.tv at, at Josh Sigurdsson. And we're on the bad guys, TikTok and Instagram, World Alternative Media, Twitter and Getter at, at World Alt Media, and all the major um podcast platforms except for spotify where we of course were banned hit that like button share on social media hit the notification bell and hit subscribe if you have not yet already live freely live by example always my friends this is josh sigurdsson signing out from world alternative media find the truth be the change